Hi guys, welcome to Simplifying Tech and Programming. So imagine a workflow system where uh, there is a very high volume of data processing and there are different different modules all together uh, connected to get that data and to transform that data or to perform operations on that data and that data uh, togetherly we have to send to uh, client customizations to the particular clients. So in that case we can think of technology that is a like a Kafka messaging system, real-time messaging system where it can deliver the high th throughput and it's a distributed system and it can process 1 million messages per second. So it is a real-time system uh, with uh, high performance and fault tolerant and uh, at present like uh, Fortune 500, most of the Fortune 500 companies are using uh, the Kafka use cases. So in the subsequent uh, tutorial, so we are like exploring uh, how we can use it for what are use cases, what is the technology behind and how Kafka works. So let's get started. So for this, I'm using my blog. So blog link is provided in the video description. So I tried to simplify the each component of this uh, Kafka system and uh, each artifact of this Kafka. I have to explain with the diagrammatically so that like uh, you can understand better so basically so kafka is originated in linkedin and later it uh, become open source apache project in 2011 so kafka is written into scala and java apache kafka is a publisher subscriber based on the messaging system uh, in the in the fast scalable and distributed by design so if we consider the big data then there is a enormous volume of data is used so regarding data, we have two main challenges. For the first challenge is like uh, uh, how to collect the large volume of data and second is like how we can analyze the collected data. To overcome these challenges, like uh, we might need the, the like a uh, matured messaging system as, and that is provided by Kafka. In messaging system, there are lots of uh, different, different types of uh, messaging system. One is JMS or implementation of JMS that is ActiveMQ, RabbitMQ. In earlier tutorials, we have seen the ActiveMQ and RabbitMQ. So where it is a, like a point-to-point -point communication model where like uh, uh, in, in the queue of JMS queue, so one message we pass and that message is consumed by the consumer. Okay, so this is the point-to-point. -point. So if we consider publisher subscriber model, then uh, it, in that also like uh, RabbitMQ uh, is a like a, it, it is working model of uh, publisher sub, sub model is, is with the rabbit mq also but uh, <clears throat> if we consider like highly scalable uh, messaging system and high throughput and uh, high volume of data then there is a more mature messaging system required other than the rabbit mq so for that like uh, apache kafka software platform uh, like uh, we can think of so it is based uh, <coughs> on a distributed uh, streaming process so it is a publisher subscriber messaging system to exchange the data between the applications or you can say servers or processors. So Apache Kafka sender is known as a producer which is the publishing the messages and the receiver known as consumer which is the consuming the messages by subscribing to a particular topic. Okay, so moreover the technology takes place in the conventional messaging brokers like JMS, AMQP and ability to, to give like higher throughput and reliability of that application. So further, if you talk about messaging system, then it is a uh, responsible for transferring of data from one application to another application or with the, from source application to the target application. So that application can focus the data, but not not to worry about how to share it. So it is a distributed messaging system based on the concept of reliable message queuing. OK, so messages are queued asynchronously between the client application and messaging system. So two types of uh, messaging patterns are available. So that we uh, we already talked one is point to point and other is publisher subscriber. So 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 best example of publisher subscriber is a YouTube. So where like uh, you have subscribed to a particular channel so that to you you will get the updates whenever like publisher subs, uh, publisher publishes that uh, data or that updates into uh, that uh, topic or that channel. So you will get the uh, real time messages. So that is the publisher subscriber model and point to point is like one message is published to a particular channel then that message like uh, 
uh, user has to like listen to that message and uh, get that messages so now one question coming into your mind that uh, if there is a already rabbit mq and uh, jms uh, implementations are there like active mq so why there is a need of kafka so there are like uh, huge differences between the jms implementation and kafka implementation so i have listed all the differences here so basically if we consider about uh, the performance then uh, rabbit mq is uh, can able to handle up to 10k messages per second but uh, if we consider about perform same performance so kafka can handle the implementation up to 1 million messages per second so so the the, the data type also like uh, in rabbit mq it is a transactional data and in uh, like uh, in kafka it is operational data so topology like exchange type like uh, like it's it's uh, like a point to point communication model or uh, header based or topic based but in kafka it is a purely publisher subscriber model so payload side uh, payload size in uh, jms like there is no constraint but in kafka to maintain the high throughput and uh, performance so they have like a limited uh, 1 mb uh data packet for uh, one message but in the latest version of kafka so they have tested till 8 mb of uh, uh message payload so these are like uh, uh, differences so because of that like uh, if we consider like high volume high throughput this uh, system then we can think of kafka so one more difference like uh, in traditional system so if you check this diagram so this diagram is divided into two parts one is source applications and one is target application so suppose like uh, source application one has to send uh, his data to like four target applications then it has like a four permutation combinations it has to think of so we have to design the four systems to consume the messages from the this first uh, source application so if we have like a four source provider or four data providers are uh, providers are, suppose there is a sales data there is a website data so there is employee data so all this data set togetherly form in the one system and that system we want to integrate and we have to like uh, process the data transform the data and send it to our clients then it might be a like a, a very complex design will form and we can think of like if there are four source system and four target system then there is a combination of 16 uh, like uh, integrations we have to make so we have to write the 16 implementation in order to like uh, provide the data to each source system or each target application then we have to like uh, think of uh, the protocol also how how the data is uh, transported so by using tcp or http rest jdbc in the which format like uh, we want to transport the data <clears throat> then there are different data formats also there uh, like uh, how we can send the past data that is uh, like a json format or xml format file csv binary format then there is a data schemas also like uh, and there is like uh, increased the loads and connections so there are multiple connection we need to manage so that that is also like overhead so as we all we know there is a enormous volume of data and uh, there are the two main challenges like how we can collect and maintain the data and one is like uh, how we can anal analyze that data so for this challenges like uh, the best solution is like uh, kafka provides that is by decoupling the data streams and system so how that decoupling is happen so <coughs> so like uh, so uh, kafka is scalable up to like 100 brokers so we can distribute and uh, we can uh, balance the load throughout the like we can say through the hundreds uh, of machines okay so th this is like solution to the above problem where uh, we are getting the data from different different source system like we are, we are getting suppose employee data product data pricing data sales data so so this is the solution provided by kafka so suppose like we are uh, uh, we are having the multiple sources or workflows data into one system like uh, we have employee data also product data also sales data also pricing data also and that we need to like uh, transform that distribute that data and we have to send it as per our customizations to different different our clients so our clients are uh, different different sub system suppose we want to collect the employee data to audit data so that we need to audit that data to the particular channel so how we can channelize that data by using uh, like a kafka topic or kafka platform so we can like uh, publish all the system data or workflow data to the centralized system 
लाइक सेंट्रलाइज सिस्टम मीन्स लाइक देर इज़ अ काफ का ब्रोकर और काफ का टॉपिक देन ऑन दैट टॉपिक लाइक हु एवर वॉन्ट्स दैट डेटा सो दे कैन एबल टू सब्सक्राइब दैट टॉपिक सो दैट दे कैन एबल टू गेट द डेटा फॉर द ऑल वर्क फ्लोज सो सपोज लाइक वी सो डेटा बेस वर्क फ्लो वॉन्ट टू गेट डेटा फॉर प्राइसिंग एंड सेल्स देन लाइक डेटा बेस कैन लिसन टू दिस प्राइसिंग एंड सेल्स डेटा और ही कैन फिल्टर आउट दैट डेटा ऑन द काफ का टॉपिक इट सेल्फ so like this uh, we have analytics data then we have email systems and then we have audit data also so this is in short the kafka architecture so this is the kafka ecosystem where uh, we have the large kafka cluster so inside that kafka cluster so there are like uh, three machines are there for in this example so there are three machines are there on on each machine there is a one broker installed of of kafka and inside that broker there is a one topic and inside that topic so there are kafka partitions so for this ecosystem so we are getting data from the producer so producer what producer is doing so so producer simply collect the data into from different different sources like suppose uh, producer is getting data from the sql so each sql row will be one data set or one message so that message like uh, he will convert into some text format and he will send to kafka ecosystem okay so like likewise like uh, suppose producer is uh, getting the data into file format so file is like separated into with the semicolon so that so that particular each record uh, with the separated by semicolon so that each record it will send to kafka system in order to process the, this data so so there are different formats of data so that producer can take and it will send to kafka and the whoever are the consumers so they that that consumers uh, can subscribe to that particular uh, kafka topic inside that kafka broker so kafka broker is nothing but i told you like it is a like a kafka installer and uh, <clears throat> on top of that like uh, there is a kafka topic and inside that there is a partition inside that partition so there are the sequence of messages are will be there so in the kafka ecosystem so there is a zookeeper who is like a maintaining or he, who is a managing these brokers or <coughs> or producers uh, can able to fetch the broker id from the zookeeper okay so also zookeeper will uh, check that if particular broker is down then for that like there is a, another replica broker is there so it will like uh, uh, resume the services with the, the available broker so each component of this uh, uh, kafka architecture so i try to explain in detail uh, further <coughs> like i have defined all all the components in detail so brokers and cluster that uh, already we have seen so where like uh, inside one cluster so there can be a multiple brokers okay then kafka producers so producer is a like a simple java application or simple uh, system from where like a data originates and it sent to kafka broker so consumer so consumer is a like a system or it is a java application where he able to listen that messages from particular kafka topic so other components are like a kafka topic so kafka topic is a stream of messages uh, like belongs to particular category is a topic so it is a data stored so we generally store the data into topics so topic is split into the partition so one more a deep level is a partition so what uh, topic contains the it contains the partitions and on on partitions there are like a sequential messages so minimum one operation so each partition containing the messages that is a immutable order sequence then partition is implemented as a set of segment of files and equal in size okay <coughs> so in this diagram like i have mentioned like how how that part partition looks like so partition is a topic may have many partitions it handle the arbitrary arbitrary amount of data okay so partition and offset so each partition message has unique sequence id is called as offset so these are like a, on the, uh, suppose uh, uh, there is a topic topic abc on uh, inside that topic abc there are like four partitions are there so these are like four partition partition 0 1 2 3 suppose on that topic like uh, 100 messages are published okay so what will happen so 100 divided by 4 so 25 25 25 25 so each 25 messages will be like uh, shared onto each topic so here like uh, offset is 9 suppose it is a 
processing ninth message so then the two offset will be nine okay so there are replicas suppose like one broker may goes down then what zookeeper will do so zookeeper will elect the next available broker so that is the replica on on each partition so they on, on each topic and each partition so, so there are leader and followers okay so leader is a node responsible for uh, all the reads and write in the given partition so every partition has one server acting as a leader so there is a like uh, architecture that what is a leader and what is a follower okay so follow node which follows the leader instruction and called as a follower leader uh, if the leader fails the one of the follower will automatically become the new leader so follower act, act as a normal consumer pulls the message up to date and its own data store so suppose somehow like a broker one goes down so so there is a leader suppose if leader goes down then this follower become leader for uh, consuming the messages from topic a okay then there is a concept called consumer group so consumer group is a group of multiple consumers so suppose like uh, on one broker there is a one topic abc uh, on that topic suppose like uh, uh, producer has produced thousands of messages and uh, that thousands of messages suppose there are like uh, 10 partitions are there so suppose there is a thousand message published then 10 topics so each uh, partition has like a hundred messages so that hundred messages is consuming by so for uh, so consumers are also in uh, like uh, multiple in size so they all are listening to particular topic so suppose like uh, the <clears throat> so on one uh, partition so there are hundred messages so that consumer 2 is listening then uh, on partition 2 there are like hundred messages that consumer 3 is listening so but all these four consumers are togetherly called as consumer group and it is not a logical entity so it, it is a entity called as a group id so inside uh, like a kafka configuration you have to define the group id so that like this consumer group id belongs to particular uh, uh, topic or partition so moving further uh, so there are several use cases of the kafka also so netflix is using the kafka for uh, getting the recommendations of uh, uh, people in real time while uh, like uh, you are watching the tv shows uh, so there are use cases of uber where uh, like uh, uber uses the kafka to gather the user taxi and trip data in real time uh, to compute the forecast of demand and to compute the surge in pricing for the in in the real time okay so <clears throat> these are like uh, popular use cases then uh, there is a messaging system so this is the most common uh, use case where uh, we can design the messaging system where uh, kafka uh, uses for using for the better throughput and replication fault tolerance and built-in partitioning which makes it better solution to uh, large scale message processing application then there are matrices so kafka is mostly utilized for the operational monitoring of data it includes the aggregation of stats and distribution distributed application generating uh, centralized feed of operational data then there is a event sourcing also then there is activity tracking and application log gathering so then there is a stream of uh, processing of data then decoupling of system dependencies like uh, suppose there is a complex system then we can decouple that system by using kafka then we can make the integrations with the spark hadoop storm flink or many other big data technologies so we can think of any use case where like uh, a data flow between the systems is required so to summarize this uh, like in this session we have seen the concepts of uh, fachi kafka and kafka components use cases architecture and uh, different different components how it works and uh, how can kafka can be used in the messaging tools yeah so that's it for like uh, uh, kafka use cases and architecture so in this subsequent session like uh, we will see how we can install the kafka into the windows system and how we can like integrate with the real time messaging system by using spring services okay so stay tuned be subscribed to the channel and uh, thanks a lot for watching